We're here today with Alfie Germano, Managing Director of Nanolo. Alfie, thanks for your time. Thanks for the opportunity. Are you able to share some of the Nanolo story? Nanolo started about 10 years ago with our founder, Gary Cass, who's an agricultural scientist working on a, wine, a winery, um, making a batch of wine, and the wine went south. Um, inside that, what he found was this big vat of um, jelly looking red, red jelly looking bacteria. He's a creative thinker, <clears throat> and he started it off as, a, as an art project. What can I do with this red jelly? When you dry it out, it kind of looks a little bit like leather, a little bit medieval looking, but you know, quite sassy. So he made a red dress with some local designers, and that got a little bit of attention. And then the next batch was, hey, I'm going to do this something deliberate now. Um, so he inoculated another batch of, uh, uh, in this case, white wine and beer, and then also champagne. I'm going to move the story a little bit faster. Dried it out and started making um, dried, uh, dried bacteria. This bacteria is microbial, microbial bacteria. Anyway, so to cut a long story short, um, when he put it under a microscope, he started noticing that there are filaments and polymers inside that and um, a nanomicrobial cellulose. And my microbial is a nice way of saying bacteria. This cellulose is the same cellulose or similar cellulose that comes from trees. And today we cut down trees to make paper and to make clothes. And it in terms of making clothes, we take cellulose and we regenerate that. And we make fibres such as rayon, viscose, lyocell, modell, and so on and so on. And here started the journey. So about two years ago, when I, um, or two and a, yeah, almost two years ago, when I started working with the company, just purely from an advisory standpoint, no, no other reason, uh, the journey was to take that cellulose and start seeing if there is technology in order to regenerate that. If you can regenerate cellulose, you should be able to regenerate microbial cellulose. So that's where our technology lies, is to take bacteria, process it, and then put the technology that we're, 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 we are developing and refining to put that into fibres. So put short, in, in short, as I tell people, today we cut down trees to make clothes. Nanolose is embarking on taking bacteria cellulose, microbial cellulose, and making clothes. So one day we don't have to cut down the trees, or we don't have to cut so many trees down. And how advanced is the technology? We've regenerated um, the first batch of uh, cellulose to, to, to prove that it can be done. We've made filaments. Now what that means is very simple. You take the microbial cellulose, we synthesise it, and then we're able to put it through a system um, by extruding fibres. Imagine taking honey and pouring it into a shower head and then pushing it through and all these spider, spider web type filaments come out. That's what we've done. Now we're moving towards taking that and spinning it into yarn or thread <clears throat> and then that thread and yarn goes into making clothes. We're not far away. And in terms of interest, how much interest has this technology generated? Well, I, I'm supposed to sit here and tell you um, the world's um, amazingly big in terms of the interest and it's true. I've had interest from the high-end fashion houses in Europe through to what I call mainstream super users to, for example, the chains that, I don't want to mention names because we are in conversations with various people and that would be misleading, but everything from the, end, from the, for, for the mass channels through to the high-end and everything in between, including car companies, furnishing companies, um, people just want sustainable alternatives and today there's not a lot of those. We're not the only company in the world, but we are one of 12 companies in the world looking at all various streams of making um, uh, ecologically um, uh, sustainable alternatives to companies. So we are at a stage where um, the, proofing, the proofing is there, um, where we need to show goods, we need to show that it works, and we're getting there. Um, indicators have been fantastic with regards to the actual the end product. It starts and ends with product, and we're all about the product. Um, we're not going to sell the fibres, we sell the technology to the fibre makers. What's interesting about Nanolose, um, why I was extremely excited about, is we're not telling the current infrastructure to do much. We're just merely saying, stop using wood chips and start using microbial chips. Here's a recipe for it and you can still continue doing it. I call it the stop start, and st stop, start and continue theory, like a traffic light. Stop using wood chips, start using microbial chips, continue to have a business. And in terms of milestones that investors should focus on over the coming three to six months? Our next uh, three to six month milestones are taking our fibre, um, putting it into fabrics and showing the world that that can be done. Uh, we are developing a supply chain. Our feedstock is in very, extremely important. It kind of exists today in the food industries in Southeast Asia. We're working with that, with that sector very closely to augment 
uh, what they're currently doing to produce, current, um, to produce microbial cellulose. What that means, quite simply, is that today it's a food and tomorrow we'll use it as a raw material. We won't be taking food out of people's mouths, we'll be taking the waste streams from those, um, from those sectors and applying it into microbial cellulose. And then after that, I would say well, another large uh, milestone for us will be really a keystone, uh, keystone brand or retailer that really wants to get behind us and saying we're going to help this company develop this because what they're doing is a, uh, is, is a, good, is a good thing and we want to be a part of it. And there might be one, it might be half a dozen. I'm trying not to do more than five because um, five is about as much as you can handle, but I'm trying to have them in all in different sectors from the high end, from the middle, bronze, silver and gold, I say. Alfie, exciting times ahead. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.